Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. We got a farewell party today with everything that's going on. It looks like we got a cutscene. There we go. Howdy, y'all, and thank y'all for coming. Today's ceremony marks a bittersweet occasion. One of the finest darn builders to ever grace this humble town will be leaving all of us. But he's off to a well-earned retirement. A few words, Mason? <laughs> it appears our dear Mason is overwhelmed with emotion. Come on, folks, lighten up. A toast, then to Mason, and to new beginnings for the future of Sandrock. Yay! Okay, everybody's here, let's... And another one's leaving. At this rate, we're gonna be out of people pretty soon. Not sure what gave you the motivation to come all the way out here, but our town's not in a good situation right now. Don't forget to stop into Construction Junction sometime. After you let me add some upgrades to your workshop, you'll wonder how you lived without them. Okay. So uh, long, partner. See you later. Somehow this doesn't feel like a party. Come on, y'all. The, the music's great. Let's have some fun. We can worry about the town's prospects later. Why, yes, Owen. There's no need to worry about our prospects as we have no prospects to worry about. Hey, Gramps, you're killing the vibe, man. What's with all the doom and gloom? Sandrock is only up and up, you hear? Soon, everything's gonna be smooth sailing. I truly believe it. Justice is right. We have a lot to look forward to. Two new builders, Trudy's close to a breakthrough. Everything will be all right for Sandrock. <laughs> okay, we found out his birthday. You know, the Blue Moon used to be called Sandrock Hotel. It was created by the founder of Sandrock, Martel. Just some trivia for you. <laughs> Hello! Sure, let's <laughs> learn something. Okay. My stars! Seeing your father up there picking and is strumming like a mad fool? Well, it brings me back. It ain't fair, Ma. You and Pa get to pursue y'all's leisures and do whatever y'all want. When's it my turn? Now, Elsie dear, you still got some growing up to do. I reckon once you show a bit of maturity, like your friend Mian here, Mayhaps we could do to ease off the reins a bit. Oh, I... Uh... Ma? Mian ain't no more mature than me. That would be cushion we put in Pa's drumming chair the other day was her idea. What? what? That's because I lost that bed to you. That's Good tales. day, partner. Ready to get your ride on? Yeehaw! Let's go talk to my pa at the ranch. He can lend you a horse for the day. Oh, I'll be cool. right behind you. Get to learn how to ride horses. Hey, pa. I brought the new builder. I want to teach him to ride. Bring out the finest stallion we got. Well, now, my little butter muffin, sweetie pie. I'd love to help out you and your friend here, but you know we don't lend out no horses for free. Pa? Don't you paw me, little missy. Now, you for a fact know that... Pa? Well, I guess it couldn't hurt just this one time. Want a horse or a camel? Get horses faster. Here you go, and you be careful now. Uh, these horses, they can smell fear. We'll be fine. Thanks, Pa. Love you, bye. Let's get. Giddy up! 
Now let's start to coop real quick. Yeah. Catch you later. F. Don't jump on the rain. Where are you, Elsie? Allow your heels and don't slouch. Don't jerk on the reins. Okay, why are you walking on the stairs? Go this way. Anyway. Now the main trick is just posture. Looks like you're getting the hang of it, partner. Why don't you try and keep up with me for a bit? Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. We're trotting, yay. Keep your back and shoulders straight. I am, I'm following you. Now the main trick is just posture. Yeah, she told me that, I got that. Oh, she's good. I love horses. Don't jerk on the reins. I know that. Now the main trick is just posture. <sighs> I beat you. Woo! You're a natural. A real yak hand. I can see I was right about you. You can rent a horse from a pot anytime you like. But what you really ought to do is head over to Construction Junction and get yourself a stable added to your homestead so you can keep a horse of your own. That'll make you a real yak hand. Uh, just a horse owner, if you don't prefer that nomenclature. I had a lot of fun with you today. I'll see you around. Keep on riding. Okay. Anyway, we didn't talk to you. You heard about the bandits, right? Yes. I can't help but think that Logan's really cool. That sidekick of his is really awesome as well. I want to ride around like them, without a care in the world. Bye! Bye. Okay, so we got a horse for a couple days. Okay. So it's a little bit faster on a horse than it is walking around. I like horses. Okay, we talked. Guess the party's over. And so you see, uh, that mischievous little Mion made a teensy little mistake. When she said that we don't charge for overnight commissions, uh, what she meant to say is that actually, we do. In fact, that's an understatement. We charge out the wazoo for overnight commissions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know all about the overnight policies. It's just that Mian said she thought she could get us a discount. Yes, well, she's been overruled. Sorry, old pal, but if we made an exception for you, we'd have to start making exceptions for everyone. And that would be far too exceptional. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to shortchange the good folks over at the Commerce Guild. That's what I love about you, Owen! Always so perfectly punctual with your payments. Well, I must be going. My employees won't reprimand themselves, don't you know? <laughs> so long! Oh, hey! Uh, you've come at just the right time. So, the wildest thing happened. Uh, Grace had a little spat with the oven and, uh, <laughs> long story short, blew the whole kitchen to smithereens. Don't worry. Everyone's fine. And luckily, Mian was available to help out with damage control. Uh, I was available. I would have done it for free if you didn't go through the Commission Guild. So that's all well and good. My issue now is that the night the kitchen exploded, Grace insisted she'd take a pay cut until all the repairs were paid for, and she wouldn't take no for an answer. But now, now without me Anne's discount, I just Hi, can't let Grace foot the bill. She'd be scraping by for months, if not years. 
I paid Yen already. It's water under the bridge in my mind. Because, you know, these things happen. I, I can't stand letting her take on such a huge burden. She's just a student. Alright, so here's where you come in. As a builder, you can just convince her that the repairs aren't that expensive. <laughs> then she won't feel so bad and maybe she'll just forget about the whole thing. It's foolproof. Alright, uh, but uh, let's not be too hasty now. We need to be prepared if we're really gonna change Grace's mind. She really has a way of turning things around on you. <laughs> uh, maybe she's on the debate team or something. Here's the deal. Whatever she asks you, just follow my lead. Capiche? Don't let her throw you off your game. Stick to the plan. Guess we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's go track down Grace. I'll be right behind you. Behind me? You're supposed to be in front of me. Uh, who's Grace? I majored in archaeology because I'm kind of interested in a broad range of subjects. And learning about the old world requires that you be at least competent in science, math, history. It's a little bit of everything all of the time. Okay. See ya. I guess we're supposed to go to the kitchen. Okay, we tracked down Grace, but nothing happened. I got, ah, see, we're supposed to go to the kitchen. She was just outside. I don't know how she's cooking all this stuff now. Hmm. I just need to put in a bit of salt. She must have went into the back door. <gasps> uh, thanks, boss. Ah, seems someone hasn't quite learned their lesson, but that's neither here nor there. Look who I've brought. Your friendly neighborhood builder, here to help us come to a, a conclusion on that whole explosion incident. Oh, hey! And you're still on about that, Owen? That was a terrible mess, and I'm completely to blame. I'll be footing the bill in full for the kitchen restoration, regardless of what you may have told the builder here. Okie dokie. Uh, hey, uh, come on, Grace. It's it's no biggie. And and even if it was, the blue moon has plenty set aside for rainy days. Or explosive days, for that matter. Anyway, everything is taken care of now. And it hardly cost me a dime. Uh, don't believe me? Just ask for a second opinion here. Yeah, that's smooth, Farrell. Hmm. All right, I'll bite. You plan to tell me the truth now, don't you? Of course. I'm gonna end up marrying you. How does that sound? I'll marry you if I'm lying. Let's begin. What is your name? Huh? Where are you going with this one? I have my reasons. Your name, please? I don't know. Okay, next question. Next, where are you from originally? Highwind. Highwind. Nice weather this time of year, yes? Very windy, I've heard. Yes, that's why it's called Highwind. That'll do. Now I know what you look like when you're deciding whether or not to answer truthfully. Next, I'll be asking what I really want to know. What's that? And don't even think about bending the truth to help Owen change my mind. Got it? I got it. I can it. read you like a book. Can? Oh, I, well, I do have the book on me. Now, Builder, tell me, how much did it cost to renovate the Blue Moon Kitchen? <clears throat> you know, uh, more than a few glasses of milk, <laughs> but less than a herd of yak milk. <sighs> Grace, it's fine. I wish you'd just forget about all this. <laughs> yep, just like I said. Hmm, I see. Next. The events in question occurred two days prior, and on the second day, when I came to work, the kitchen was already as good as new. Something here doesn't add up. Don't tell me you builders are dabbling in magic. Explain. Yes, yes we're dabbling in black magic. What's your angle, Grace? The two new builders in town are both riled up and full of vinegar. You're just used to old Mason and his whiny ways. 
nothing unusual here, right? Hmm. I see. Next question. Eh? Regardless, Owen must have had to pay me on for working overnight. Tell me how much that would have been. Ah, uh, well, uh, be that as it may, <laughs> kind lady that she is, Mian gave me a discount. Uh, the difference in the bill was so small, I almost forgot about it. Okay, next question. Uh, Grace, 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 Grace. Uh, enough with the third degree. There's really nothing more to be said. Boss, you sure have a lot to say for someone who says there's nothing to say. Why do you always butt in whenever I ask a question, huh? It's starting to seem like you two are in cahoots. I'm not in cahoots. I'm answering the questions that you're asking. <laughs> cahoots? I, I mean, uh, what even is a cahoot, really? <laughs> I think this whole ordeal has you on edge. Uh, but, all right. Have it your way. I'll zip it. Continue with the interrogation, please. If something like this happened in the Commerce Guild, would your boss, Yan, handle it like Owen? Which is to say, would he insist on paying the damages out of his own pocket? I... Oh no, I'm not detecting any sense of dishonesty or even irony with that answer. Note to self, this builder has been completely brainwashed. Maybe try to do something about that later. No, I'm a good bluffer. Hmm, bet you two think you're pretty slick, huh? Owen, it couldn't be more obvious. You did put up to this little charade, however... All right, that's the ticket. Oh, whew, now we can finally move on from this. Owen, I must say, your dedication to your employees makes you not just the owner here, but an inspiring leader as well. I'm proud to call you my friend. <laughs> oh, shucks. Well, I think we wouldn't be seeing eye to eye if not for the builder here. <laughs> uh, you might even say we have an unspoken bond. Here, take this for your troubles. Call it a consultation fee. Yes, thank you for helping us resolve this. I'm in your debt. Oh, okay. You want to go out on a date? No, no. <laughs> no debts. That's the whole point of all this. Owen, Owen, Owen. I'm trying to get a date with her. Blocking me. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to it. Catch you, Builder. All right. See you later. I've already talked to Grace, I've already talked to Owen. Okay. Go grab our commission. I haven't talked to you yet today, yet. Look at that stage! Yet another fine example of Sandrock Commerce Guild craftsmanship! <sighs> My management skills have been tip-top lately! How do I do it? How do I do it? Uh, you didn't do a damn thing. Hmm. Okay. Grab a commission. I can't make this bracelet yet. Hundred and eighty gold. Yeah, let's do that one. Got eight. All right. Oops. Oh, I gotta do the salted fish. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, we haven't checked our mail yet. Hang on a second. I need my eyeball. Of course. I do have my eyeballs. That's the wrong. Yeah, no, nah, that'll work. Uh, my mind's gone crazy today. No, F. Let's head home. Of course, this is your new home. I'm sorry. Hey. 
some cuddling yes you're my little gecko yes you are you're pretty let's dispatch you uh let's pay you it's the wrong button dispatch I'm gonna send you digging. Huh. See what you come up with. Check the mail. Uh, I'll see you back in. Wednesdays and Fridays, okay. Letter. Oh, Paul. This is. Oh, we got a secret liar. Oh, okay. Mission. There's Rocky. Mm -hmm. Try kicking a tumbleweed? It's yes. kind of fun. Yeah, it is. Got a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Relationship points, that's good. We're building relationships. Yay. Oh, we're here. We'll go ahead and go down to the dungeon. Scraps us up top here. But have I bought any water yet? I don't think I have. Oh, we've already been here. Okay, here we go.
leveled up. <laughs> Okay, complete that level. Kill the rat. This. Ah, the vending machine. This windmill. Are on. You name module. Uh. Okay. Okay, we got a lot of stuff. Let's see how much. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we did get a lot. Of stuff. Oh, found a book. Oh. How's that? Okay. What else? Is Oh, we got simple circuit. That's good. That looks good. Okay. Got a bunch of stuff out of that. Go back upstairs. I need to start building. And, yeah. You already talked to me again. Okay. 
Yeah, we need to start sorting them better. Um... Come on, horse. Find out what we need to do at City Hall. Hi. My brother seems to think that selling things is like a game that can be won. If he tries to convince you to buy something, only do so if you really need it. All right? All right. Goodbye. This is great! Good food and good music! But I wish my mom could have made it back for this. Yeah, I know. Hmm. It have a book for you. Wow, what a gift! You're welcome. What are you doing, Pen? Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aha. Sure, I'll give you your posters. Okay, there we go. Okay, put these posters out, horse. One down, and there's one we're supposed to put down here somewhere. In our chapter, Minister Matilda leads us while Pastor Miguel executes the details and the logistics. Me? I'm the jack of all trades. Okay, okay. Have a good day. You too. Gotta put these posters up. They also got to go. Another cutscene. Somebody's coming. Hey there, Builder. Need anything from the Civil Corps? No. If it's not urgent, I'm supposed to stay right here. Oh, that's fine. Sheriff told me I have to watch this door and make sure no crazy robots get out of the Paradise Lost hazardous ruins here behind me. Okie dokie. Paradise Lost used to be a shopping mall in the old world, but after the Day of Calamity, all the robots went crazy. Or was it before? I don't know. I was never good at history. That's why you're very unsure about yourself. Oh, you want to go in here? Yes. I thought you just wanted to chat with me. Well, well actually... the lock on this door here is broken, and Justice told me not to let anyone in or out until it's fixed. So, sorry. 
Well, actually, I'm just here to put up a poster, but I can fix it if you want me to. Yeah, probably. The door kind of looks fine to me, but I gotta follow orders. Sheriff Justice has got to get an official commission through the City Hall. That's just how it is, I guess. So until Justice does the paperwork, I'm sorry to say I can't help you. Shouldn't take long. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a commission soon to fix it. But who knows how long that could be. If I were you, I'd just do other things for a while. I'm sure we'll reopen Paradise Lost when the time is right. I mean, probably. Well, good luck. Hope you're enjoying Sandrock. Oh, I am. I haven't talked to you yet today. When it comes to solving crimes, it's almost always the person you most suspect. Oh, I suspect you. What do you think about that? I just came here to put a poster up. That's all I did. And we don't hit E, we hit F. Rocky's digging. Well, I've seen so many Sandrock residents get on that train and never come back in the last couple of years. So it was so nice to see you and Miss Mian get off the train and stay. I'm gonna miss Mason. He did his best for our town. Okay. Hmm? Get that relationship. Catch you later. to Fang's Clinic. One per customer. No cotton. No cotton. Okay. Oh, there's Fang. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I got some gold there. Let's talk to Miguel. Hi. The support from the citizens here is not enough to uphold the financial burdens of this chapter of the church. We depend on supplemental support from the Deacon and Mady as well. Any charity from you would be appreciated. Bye. Okay, got anything else we need to do on the map? Yeah, let's go do it. So wait until they're closed. Uh... More sand, huh? Hey, Arvia. Hey there. Have you heard about the supply shortage over at the world-famous Ceramic Gate? I even saw tourists fighting over a pot. Dreadful stuff. But lucky for you, I managed to acquire some from my shop through a notable contact of mine. Your sister. See ya. Okay. Let's get that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we got a skill point. Yes. Yes, do that. Get another meal. That's a lot. Or 
work. Okay, we got 240. Dr. Owen today. Okay. Here, I think. Hey there! Have you tried the sand rolls locals make during the Day of Memories? I won't be friends with anyone who doesn't like them. I like them. Never had, we haven't been here yet for the Day of Memory. Do you want to go to our company's scrapyard? I'll take you there, okay? For free! All right then, you come to the entrance of the scrapyard at 11 o'clock tonight, and I'll take you in. Don't forget, okay? Okay. Go wait until. I've already so talked long, to you. partner. Catch you later. Got to come back here. Oh, I gotta make. Oh, I gotta make a couple things. Start getting that checkoff list that we need to do. But we need to check. Talk to Hugo real quick. Hey there. Hmm. See ya. Alright. Oh, we haven't talked to Mabel yet today. Well, hello. Hmm. See ya. Museum. Let's go to the museum first. See if we can get rid of some of the stuff that we have. And we can make nothing. Doesn't help us out. Oh, you got DNA. Okay, okay. That did not help us out at all. Where's horse? Oh, there's horse. Come on, horse. Trying to waste time. Talk to Chi. Well met. Sorry, I was thinking. What were you saying? Need you to do some research for me. Oh, okay. Get that tomorrow. Sorry, I thought I had researched something, so we'll get that next episode. Horace, where are you? There you are. Okay, we need to do something for Mort. Drying rack yet. No, I don't want that. What's drying rack? I want this. Oh, I need the big... Yeah. 
Hey there, let's go run to the commission guild. They did the task, yay. Relationship points. Okay, I need to come here. I need the chest first. And just chest. Yeah, for quest. Anything metal, yeah, copper or tin or Okay, this E relics. This
good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Put that in there and copper ore. Okay. Uh, a wood. Okay, wood, wood, wood. And, uh, yeah, we'll put you. That's what goes to that. Change that. Okay, we'll do that later. Yeah, we'll put you to. Okay, that was good. Okay, next one going to be stone. Next one would be leather and rubber. And rubber. Right now, this stuff and 
here. Farming section. Okay. Check our scarf. Okay, that's good. We don't get rid of the, the rest of that stuff. Okay, guys and gals, what I'm gonna do is just wait for 11 o'clock and bring you back when 11 o'clock shows up. Okay, guys and gals, it's getting close to 2300 where we gotta meet Vidya. Vid Vidya? Let's just start heading that way. At the location. Go wait until 2300. Be any second now. I've been waiting for you for a while now. There's no one else here. Faye and the others have all gone home. All the salvage inside belongs to us. <laughs> no, the boss won't give me overtime pay for this. By the way, all the things I excavate tonight will belong to you. So you'll be able to get more materials and make even better things. Okay. Then let's start digging. For some reason, I feel even more motivated than when I'm working my normal job. And while we're digging, we can chat and talk to each other. Okay. Sand Rock is really nice. It's much better than my hometown. Grande will definitely... Not everybody knows it, but I usually dig up the most in our company. <coughs> Peck is consistent. Not everybody knows it, but I usually dig up the most in our company. <coughs> Peck is consistently. The boss's kid, Pebbles, is so well behaved. I wish he'd call me sister instead of. The boss's kid, Pebbles, is so well behaved. I wish he'd call me sister instead of. Aunt. Our company is quite good. We get five paid vacation days. Phew. Let me see. We've basically broken down all the scrap that was brought up here during the day. We're amazing. By the way, these are the things I salvaged. Take them all. If you want to come again Thank next you. time, just look for me. I've been digging all night and my clothes are wet, so I need to go back and take a hot bath and change into clean clothes. Okay. Well then, until next time, it was really fun to dig up junk together with you today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we got that quest done. Uh, what time is it? Yeah, let's go down. Actually, no. We need to get some wood. We need wood. So let's, let's grab these scraps over here. And now I'm gonna need leather.
we're gonna need leather, so might as well get the leather. Plus. I need a bunch of stuff later on. <clears throat> up all our energy, our stamina. Yep. Bag, bag, bag. Here we go. Got some stuff. Oh, we got some meat. Okay. So let's sort all this stuff out. Copper scraps. I want metal. Where's metal? Metal. Metal. There. Okay, we'll put that there for right now. We'll give all that shit to food, food. Jack mail milk. One thing I want to make is jerky. The reason why jerk jerky gives us stamina plus ten each for each bite that we take. Some, in case we got something that we definitely want to get going. So let me pick this up. Uh, I need metal, metal scraps so that I get that going. going that uh or through our bags last is gonna be stone oh we are on stone okay last there that looks good 
Okay. Tumbleweed. We want to try to keep our bags empty as much as possible. Tumbleweeds are free. Might as well collect them. Don't have enough to kick. We can't cut anything down. Uh, let's go to bed. Getting late. We've had a long day, but we're here. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along. And as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.